So I've made this dynamic drop-down list in Excel, which essentially refreshes whenever the source data changes. So all these cells over here have this data validation drop-down list, and the source list is right over here, meaning that in any of these cells, I can select from any of these products. And what's interesting is that I didn't have to add data validation to each and every one of these cells individually. And if I go onto a new cell, if I were to make a new cell in this table, so uh, let's just write EE for example here, a new row comes up and the data validation is automatically there as well. And the other thing is that if I add a new category here, so let's say for example, health, um, then my data validation list automatically updates and it shows me that as well. Now, if I'm to delete that, then the data validation will also update by itself. So, of course, we can't do this with a simple data validation. So, I'll be showing you how to implement this using the indirect function, as well as a couple other functions that we'll be using. So, here's my raw data here. This is the table that was to the left, and this is my source list. The first and very important step would be to convert all of these to a table. So, just click anywhere, Control and T and make sure my table has headers is selected because in my case I do have headers and I'm just going to remove the filters and I'm going to do the same over here control T that and make it into a table now the next thing I'm going to do with my source list is I'm going to go into table design and I'm actually going to give it a name as well so I'll just call it for example um, source one okay uh, it doesn't matter what you call it but I'm going to call it source one and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into any random cell equals to all of these, okay? I'm just going to select, apart from the column header, all of the table values. And so as you can see, now that I've selected all of the table values, I haven't selected um, K2 to K6. I've selected all table values. So this formula, this key over here, uh, takes into account everything that's in the table. Even if I add more rows, it's still going to reflect those, so it's not locked to anything. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, and then I'll leave from here now that it's copied into my clipboard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these cells over here. Okay, now these are the cells where I want to implement my data validation. And I'll go into my data tab right over here into data validation, and I'll select a list. And I'll go ahead and I'll write equals to uh, in direct and then after that open bracket and I'm going to open up the double quotes and within these double quotes I'm going to paste the location the address that I selected over here I'm going to close the double quotes on the bracket and press enter and now essentially what we've done is we can select from any of these lists and we've kind of implemented data validation into all of these cells over here so now we can go into any of these cells and data validation shows up and if we were to make a new row so let's call this one two three four now a new row is made and data validation is still here and what's even more interesting is that if i were to for example uh, add another value to this table so we can call this once again health and i can come back over here and as you can see health is right over here as well now if i'm to delete health from here and i can go into table design and I can resize the table as well. Now health is gone from this table. As you can see, it's gone from our data validation list as well. So that's how we've made the data validation dynamic in such a way that you don't have to manually go to each and every cell and click on data and add data validation. And furthermore, whenever your source list updates, whether you're adding values or deleting, your destination data validation will also update automatically and right away.